Welcome to another session of LearnToBuildIt.com. I'm your host, Steve Kirscher, and today we are going to be talking about a heart rate sensor. Um, I believe you could use this on Arduino or on the Raspberry Pi, but today it's going to be on the Arduino. This is our sensor that we're going to be dealing with. It's a heartbeat sensor. Um, it has this infrared LED right here and then this optical transistor down here. The way you're supposed to be using this from everything I've found is you put your finger on it like this where the IR sensor or IR LED can sense through your skin. Um, this sensor has an S on it for signal, the negative for ground, and the center pin is for power. Now as you'll see, I'm going to plug this into my breadboard here. Um, and I've got a couple different videos I'm going to show you so or do inside of this video. But when I run this, um, I just put my finger on like so and let it run. And you'll see that this center power wire, if you check out my website, you'll see I've got the diagram of this. But this center wire is 5 volts. I personally like it better when this wire is unplugged, not attached at all. Just the ground and the signal. Um, it is an analog signal I'm going over to the a0 on this and um, We are able to get the readings I want but like I said check out my blog because you'll definitely see that the um, difference in the frequencies It's a big difference and without the power it is a lot better. Thanks for watching. This is the current result I am getting when you use the default code that the heartbeat monitor came with. This is without touching it. This is with touching it. As you can see, the only difference is, is the last column there. So it's the 1023 is what comes on by default. That's what the uh, sensor automatically reads. They do this weird calculation. And uh, on the right there is what it comes with. So now I'm going to stop that and I'm going to remove the power from the sensor and what you'll see is this is the new code that comes on so now when I put my finger on the sensor the left side is a perfect signal it starts and stops and shows every time the heart beats you can see it go to zero there to me that's a lot easier to read I also wrote a small program I will give you the code of that if you notice what happens as I'm scrolling this data is every time it counts up to the milliseconds that um, that it hits to the highest point so when you do the calculation at that many milliseconds is what it took to um, do this I do a divided by 60,000 divided by that number which gives me my heart rate then on the scale it goes back down. When it goes back down, I, I, I drop it off to zero and I count all the way back up to see here. So now uh, this time my heart rate was 66. Now again I'm jumping at these intervals. So I'm at 66 and then here I'm at 57. You know back here 57 and it can bounce around. Now obviously I don't have much fudge factor in there 57 to 66. but you know, this is how, in general, we're going to need to come up with a way to take the peaks and, and keep track of which one is which.